Greetings, mortals. And welcome to my channel. Now this isn't the first time I've decided to make a speed paint with talking over it. But back then I was... Uh, experimenting. I didn't really know myself very well. And to be honest, I have been doing quite a bit of soul searching, trying to find my place in the artistic community and just trying to find my place in general. So far, it seems that my niche is monsters. So, I just have to wonder, why monsters? Why am I so fascinated by these? Because of all of my interests, I can pinpoint some point in time where I was like, oh yeah, that became my jam. But monsters? Monsters are a little fuzzy, honestly. So, this is just going to be a video of me dissecting how my monster fascination came to be. Very little editing, very little script. I just got a note card right here. I'm just trying to find my way of making videos. So without further ado, let's begin this dissection. I think the closest I can pinpoint with my fascination with monsters has to be my fascination with horror and just spooky things in general. Like, I remember back when I was three years old, I had to go to the drugstore with my mom a lot because at the time she was pregnant with my sister. It was around October. Drugstores would set out their Halloween decorations, which is nothing spectacular to an adult, but to three-year-old me, I was all over it. I would specifically tell my mom, I want to see the spooky stuff. And that would be our thing every time we visited the drugstore in October. Other than Halloween, there was my fascination with dinosaurs. That came pretty soon after, I think. I was just fascinated with the idea that all these giant and weird monsters once roamed our Earth and that we knew so little about them and scientists to this day are still trying to figure them out. Okay, maybe not that far in depth. I was like four by that time. But still, I was the dino kid. I freaking loved dinosaurs. After that, I started getting into shows and other media that involve monsters in some way. I think second grade is when I really got into Yu-Gi-Oh! Mostly because of the monster cards. And to see these high school kids battling with these cards full of monsters, it got me. It got me hardcore. There was also Pokemon to a lesser extent. I didn't really get into Pokemon until I got my hands on one of the games. I started out with Red. I wasn't really into the Pokemon games until fifth grade, I'd like to say. And there was also Digimon. I was way more into Digimon than Pokemon as a kid. Of course, all that was showing was Frontier. Say what you will about that, but I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool that kids turned into Digimon. I wanted to turn into a Digimon. Have cool powers. Look awesome. Don't judge me. I thought it was so cool. Of course, I didn't know about the previous seasons of Digimon. If I grew up with those, I probably would have liked them a whole lot more. And from there, my love of monsters just grew. I mean, I was always sketching monsters on the backs of my assignments all over my folders. Anywhere there was a free space, I would just be making monsters. I'd sometimes doodle them with my eyes closed just to see what sort of weird thing would come out of it. Of course, as I got older, my monsters became a lot more sophisticated, 
with a lot more ideas behind biology and just how they'd function. And that's kind of where I am today. I like the theoretical monsters. The kinds of monsters where I think, okay, what if this were a real creature? How would it function in an environment? Where would it thrive? I just find that endlessly cool. I know it's really nerdy, but you know what? I love it. I love it a lot. And also horror monsters always have a special place in my heart because you know how I am. Love the horror. Every single delicious, creepy moment of it. Like you see some hairless, eyeless thing at the end of the hallway. Just, oh, it's a work of art. And I don't think I'm going to stop making monsters in the future. It would be so cool if I could create a career out of just drawing monsters. And this guy right here, this eel I'm drawing, it's going to be part of a book. I'm going to sell this at conventions. Once I compile enough, there's going to be an encyclopedia A to Z of these guys. They're all going to have their unique descriptions, and my best friend decided to pitch in stories for them, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever, that they would care so much about the monsters I make. I just thought it was my weird little hobby. And yet, there they are, willing to make stories for me. Uh, it's just... It makes my heart happy. Of course, I'm going to give them some of the sales off of it. I'm not leaving them high and dry. That's just not who I am. And I think that's all for this video. I'm still trying to find my footing with this whole thing. So if this was a little clumsy, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, and eventually I'm going to learn and make this suck a little less. So until the next video, she who controls the monsters controls the underworld. Bye bye